Hello YouTubers and Betanews.com readers. Today, I achieved a PlayStation 4. Um, I pre-ordered this back in June, and it finally arrived on launch day. This is monumental for me because never in my life have I ever had a, uh, a launch day console. Um, nothing I've ever had in my entire life. So I'm just going to film a quick unboxing, um, and then I will do a second video of me um, upgrading the hard drive. I do have a one gig, uh, one gig, uh, I'm sorry, one, let's see, one terabyte hard drive here. And it's in a, it's in a, an enclosure. It's a, it's a, it's a one terabyte, 2.5 inch uh, hard drive in an enclosure that I'm gonna rip out of the enclosure and stuff into this PlayStation 4 because it only comes with 500 gigabytes, which normally would be okay, except that the PlayStation 4 requires game discs to be installed to the drive. So, uh, unfortunately, it'll fill up pretty quickly. Not that I'm going to buy a ton of games, but I do have three of them, um, which I have right here. I have Call of Duty Ghosts. I have... Injustice, Gods Among Us, Ultimate Edition. Don't confuse that with a regular edition. And Knack. Now, Knack is the game that made me order the PlayStation 4. I'm a huge fan of platformers. Platformers are my absolute favorite. Um, you know, I grew up playing uh, NES, Super Mario Brothers. So platformers are just kind of what I like. And it's what I'm good at. So can't wait to play that. And I also have the PlayStation camera, which I will unbox right after the PlayStation 4. So let's get to it. This is the box. And there's some tape on the box. So I'm using my trusty knife here to cut it open. If you see here special PlayStation tape to know that it has not been opened yet. So I'm just going to use my trusty knife here. And I'll just cut into it. Ooh, maybe I won't cut into it. Well, that didn't work too well. This video would be more interesting if I cut my finger, but luckily that did not happen. Here we go. Ooh, I think I need to actually turn it around. They put the tape on the bottom. Then once you cut the tape, you have to flip it back around. And whoa. This is the inside of the box. Now I will take a look at the console last. First thing we have here is special free offers. Um, just taking a look at this code. There's codes on the inside, so I can't show you that. Um, but you do get some free stuff. Then in this bag is Welcome to the World of PlayStation Quick Start Guide. I'm not reading it. Um... We have the power cord. Now, there's no brick because the brick is built into the PlayStation itself, which is really cool. Um, nice design by Sony. Here's a micro USB cable, which I believe is for charging the uh, DualShock 4. Uh, the DualShock 3 um, charged by, I believe, mini USB. Um, so this is nice to have micro, which is more used nowadays. It's kind of the standard on smartphones. And surprisingly, well, not really surprisingly, I knew it was in the box, but um, surprisingly to many people, they included an HDMI cable, which I appreciate, but at the same time, I wish they would have not included an HDMI cable, just because so many people have them, it's kind of wasteful. I'm not even going to open this package. I already have better HDMI cables. Um, 
that are already hooked up to my TV. I'm just going to disconnect one thing, hook it up. So I'd rather see them cut costs or throw something else in the box rather than this HDMI cable, which I will not take out of this plastic bag and probably will put it in a drawer and 10 years from now I'll pull it out and say, uh, why the heck do I have this cable? And I'll go, oh yeah, it's my PlayStation 4. Whatever. I'm not going to use it. But, hey, whatever. Uh, let's see, this is the mono headset see the PlayStation logo on there. It's appreciated, but I'm not sticking this uncomfortable thing in my ear. And the Bluetooth support is not yet here for um, headsets, which is disappointing. But yeah, I'm not going to spend time with this thing shoved in my ear. It's going to hurt. And from what I could tell, there's no like rubber uh, piece to make it more comfortable. Um, yeah, this is not getting used. I mean, maybe just for the time being to play Call of Duty so I can hear people use profane language as I play them, but otherwise, um, no go. This is exciting. This is the DualShock 4, which I will take out of the plastic. Whoa. And for some reason there's pieces of tape, I guess it's just to keep it protected. I'm just going to peel that tape off. And, wow, it feels so good. If there was any moment where I doubted buying the PlayStation 4, um, where I wondered, hey, should I have bought the Xbox 360, um, just holding this controller, that all melts away. I mean, this is amazing. The D-pad feels great, the analog sticks feel great, the triggers are just incredible. Huge improvement over the PS3 controller, the DualShock 3. This touchpad is really cool. Um, I have that other console, the Android console, the Ouya, or Ouya, I don't even remember how to pronounce it. And it also has this type of a trackpad. So I know a lot of people have been praising Sony, but um, they were beat to the punch, essentially, um, with that feature. But I'm sure this works a lot better because that other Android console, the Wii or Wii, is horrible. Uh, one of my worst uh, purchases ever. Here's the back. Ooh, it's flashing for some reason. And now, the moment I've been waiting for since June is the actual PlayStation 4. I'm just going to take this box away. So, there it is in the bag. I'm going to take it out. Take this thing and toss it. Take this thing and toss it. And, let's see. I'm very fearful I'm going to drop. Oh, okay. I thought it came out of like a bag, but no, it was just wrapped. And... There we go. That is a PlayStation 4. I have achieved a launch day PS4. Um, there's a power... People have been complaining that power and eject button, that you can't see them, that they're, they're too hard to see. They're right here. And I can see them fine. I mean, you know where they are. If you can't figure that out, there's something wrong with you. Uh, here's the back. We have HDMI, Ethernet, uh, an optical out, and a proprietary port for the camera. I really wish they didn't go proprietary. I would have liked to see another USB port in the back that um, would make the camera work on a computer as well, like a, like a PC or uh, Linux or Mac uh, OS X machine. Uh, but unfortunately, no, it's proprietary, and anything proprietary, a proprietary rather, is terrible. Um, so, there's the PS4, and let's just do a quick unboxing of the camera. Now, from what I've read, the camera at launch doesn't do as much as the Kinect likely will, but it's still a cool thing, and I didn't want to have to... Um, I didn't want it to sell out or have trouble getting it later. So I figured I might as well buy it now just in case. I could always return it. So once again, pull out the 
knife. Oops. I gotta get it. If I'm gonna keep doing these unboxing videos, I gotta get better at actually unboxing. Um, ooh, I almost threw my knife in my PS4 and scratched it. That would have been disastrous. So let's see. There's the box. Gotta toss that. Let's see, inside is the instruction manual. It's a it's a it's a it's a friggin' webcam basically. You plug it into the proprietary port. That's it. Inside is um, the letter T. I guess this thing. I guess that's to mount it on your TV. I ooh, I will not be using this because my setup is really bad. Uh, I have a. I'll show it to you guys in a moment. Okay. Empty, empty. There's the camera. Very basic. And uh, let me pull this out. This is important. It is the proprietary plug? And it 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 almost looks USB, like a USB port but it's not, and I'm hoping it's not purposely proprietary, like maybe this, I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there that can, um, like, solder something on and map these wires to a USB connector. Uh, I'm hoping Sony didn't purposely make this proprietary when it could have been USB, like, if this is actually kind of a USB port, but it's shaped differently just to cause issues. Um, but I will not be using this letter T thing because um, I'm not going to mount it on my TV. It's going to go underneath my TV, I believe. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I have here. I'll cover up. <clears throat> this is my setup. I have a 22-inch hands-free TV. This is a G4 Mac Mini that somebody gave to me that does not work, but trying it out. But that's that's my setup. So my setup is a 22-inch TV on a uh, $20 Rubbermaid uh, stand, I guess you would call it, that I got from Target. So it's really kind of lame. But the TV is 1080p. But it's a 22-inch hands-free TV. So for beta news, I'm going to be, now, now that I've done this unboxing, uh, I'm going to do another video on upgrading the hard drive. And then lastly... Um, well, I'll, we'll have a first impressions uh, review on betanews.com. So once again, let's spin it around here. We have the PlayStation 4 and the webcam. And probably the thing I'm most excited about, believe it or not, is the DualShock 4. Probably the best controller ever made. But we'll see. I have to put it through the testing and... Sometimes I am a little bit ambitious and excited about new things, but man, oh man, does this feel good in the hand. So, once again, Brian Fajoli with Betanews.com with an unboxing of the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation camera. Thank you so much for watching, and keep checking Betanews.com for the newest uh, news, um, all technology related, uh, whether it's Windows, Linux, or Mac, enterprise news everything. Check betanews.com and check very soon for a first impressions uh, video uh, and the first impressions video plus a first uh, impressions write up as well. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, Brian Fajoli with Beta News. Have a great day. Bye-bye.